my god, Steve! Sick! Let's go! Oof. Yo, gamer, Nemi here, and welcome to my Steve Fox Hit Abilities Guide, where I show you guys the most efficient and effective way to use Steve's hit abilities. Now, as usual, like I always say, hit adds so much depth to these characters. Every single character in this game has their own unique hit mechanic, and that applies to Steve as well. Steve's hit mechanic is more on the underrated side, and we'll talk about that later. It's pretty, pretty effective if you know how to use it, and that's what this guide is all about. As usual, my guides are about 30 minutes long, so please watch it at your own pace. Use the timestamps provided in the description. You don't have to, like, you know, cruise through the whole thing. Try your best to understand what I'm trying to say, because this might just help you out in ranked, right? So, like, Steve is already a different character, so you want to maximize every cheap stuff you can possibly, you know, alter from this character, and yeah, it's it's crazy. That said, let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, as usual, let's talk about how Steve's hit ability works. Now, disclaimer, I have already done a two-hour long video explaining every single character's hit mechanics in this game, so please check that out. You can always check out Steve's specific timestamp. But for the sake of this video, I will talk about his hit abilities nonetheless. So Steve's hit abilities are pretty, pretty simple. So Steve has a stance called duck, right? Forward three or forward four, he ducks, right? So from these moves, he has one, uh, he has two, right? He has forward two as well. So when you hold it, right? Hold forward three or hold forward four, he does an enhanced version of this duck. So for example, duck one does this like knockback, right? You get 33 damage. If I do extend it duck one, I get a knockdown instead, 40 damage, right? Uh, duck two is like a normal launcher. Extended that to Skyscraper, bigger, uh, you know, bigger launcher, right? So this will play an important part when I come to talk about his hit abilities, so keep that in mind. Oh my god, my dog has started, guys. I'm sorry about that. So when Steve goes in hit, right, he gets a grab from this extended duck, right? So he can get one, right, which leaves you at plus 14. So you can get stuff like Sonic Fan guaranteed, right? You can get 2-2 two, two if you want. So anything 14 frames you can get after his one grab. Uh, his two option is a 50 damage throw, right? Guaranteed 50, right? But that applies to his one as well. It also does 50 if you go for the, the sweaty follow-up. So he basically has two 50 damage throws, which is huge, right? Which is huge. A lot of throws have their damage nerfed in Tekken 8. Only a few characters have like 50 damage throws. I think one in King, right, Tombstone, um, I think Feng's back turn must be nerfed, it must be 45 now, I might be mistaken, but a lot of throws have like 45 to 48 damage, very few throws are 50, so Steve gets that exception when he is in hit, so it's pretty, pretty good. The second aspect of his hit is that he gets a manual input to extended duck, right, so he can get like instant extended duck into a grab, right. Remember, the clinch throw is only from his ascended duck 3. You have to hold this to go for the grab. You can't do it like instantly, right, from this, for example. You can't. This is where the manual input comes into play. So if you do down forward 3 plus 4, you get an instant duck, right? So everything gets enhanced. For example, is 1, right? It's the same as doing his hold version, right? He's 2, normal 2, right? Extended duck 2, right? So manual input... Extended duck 2 gets the big version. So like a quick way for you to go for a, for a throw. If you're in a trouble situation, boom, just throw it out and you go into throw. And the last aspect of his hit, which is more the niche part, is his lion heart becomes a kick parry when he is in hit. So for example, uh, let's go into hit, uh, play. You see that? Right? So every kick he can parry that when he's in lion heart. Right? Yeah, so pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. That's basically how Steve's hit mechanic works. It's very easy to explain. You know, it's just a command grab. He gets a command grab in extended duck, and you can also do the fast version to go the extended to, to an instant extended duck. Situations do you want to go for his hit throws? Because 
dude like steve's he throws are so underrated it's ridiculous right it's ridiculous so to get the obvious out of the way the manual input into grab right this one right this is the most predictable way you can go for his hip throws at high level at most you're going to be ducked right a lot of people expect steve players to go for this and i do myself especially when you're running out of heat but as you can see it takes up a bit of a heat gauge right and like i said people expect it because it's, it's just like it's obvious it's an obvious thing to do right so now why do i say it's not really worth using this version firstly like i said it takes up heat gauge and steam throws like one and two take up a huge chunk of the heat gauge so at best you're only going for like maximum maybe two attempts at these throws so look at this right so i'm going to go for the two throw without manual input okay so this is the two look at my heat gauge look at that that's half more than half right so at, at best you're only going for two attempts for this right so you want to try by all means to hold on to that heat gauge by not using your manual input because it takes up a huge chunk right the more you use it the less likely you are to land at least two right if you use it too much at best you're only going to land one heat grab right and that's that's wasting it right now i'm not saying you can't use it i'm saying it's too predictable and it takes up so much of a heat gauge right um the good thing about it is because he like i said he does have mix-ups on his duck right so if they duck you can go for the launchers if you want right so you can go for the one which is safe or you can go for the two which is minus 14 but like you know most people don't punish it optimally so you know you do have that right so you're you're wasting your hit gauge to go for a 50 or like a mix-up situation at the highest level most people don't actually duck but at the highest levels people will duck this so it's good right it's good to mix it up don't get me wrong but what i advise you guys to use is manual extended duck holding three into the command graph this is very very good very very good because people like unlike taken seven right this 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 um duck was scary in taken seven because of the unblockable right in taken seven steve had forward two which was a guard break you could get a note out of this right so that was a mix up with the high and the mid right the mid or the launching mid so now people have not really programmed their minds to like keep ducking especially when steve is in heat because they're like okay there's no need to duck when steve is extended duck right why would i duck when i can get launched right so and i don't feel as though people actually see the value of ducking because i don't think the throw is as scary as unblockable in taken seven because the throws can be broken you can break the one throw with one and the two throw with two so it's not as intimidating as this unblockable from taken seven which sucks i will admit but like i say it's better to go for the manual duck input so for example some scenarios i can give you is after a hit engager right uh let's see uh boom boom no hit right so let's say rocket launcher right sorry i don't know hit uh no hit limit sorry sorry about that so rocket launcher right extended duck go for the grab right that's like the most basic way you can do this right you can go for two running tools into extended duck to the grab right basic basic ways which you can do it uh, i have to do stuff like this right down back on three then in lion hat i go for extended duck now this is not that great like i said lion can be lion hat can be disrespected but you know because there are ways around lion hat now with the you know manual peekaboo they do respect you sometimes so now is a chance to go for the grabs right so those are just some examples guys so hit engager boom manual grab right mix up two or one that's one way in which you can use it another way is of oki of course so let's say right normal combo right uh 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 right sure you can extend the dark go for the grab right that's another basic way right so like an okizeme situation that also works on like normal screen so for example you can do just a basic combo right boom boom screw right and from here go for the grab right so let me just go into hit to show you guys that right basic combo uh uh right something like that right those are some of the good okay situations you can use i'll do a complete section later in the video but i'm just trying to give you guys an idea 
so firstly like i said try to use manual input manual dash into grab over a hit grab sorry hit dash into grab save your hit gauge and remove the unpredictability so now let's talk about the throws themselves right which one is better the one throw right which still gives you 50 uh, it's pretty difficult take some timing and getting used to right you have to manually go into peekaboo then go for the 4 1 plus 2 right like that right 50 or the two throw which also gives you 50 damage so which one is better now the better one in my opinion is the one right because with the one you can do stuff like this right 63 damage which is a lot so in hit, people expect you to go for the one throw a lot, right? And the other thing about the one throw is at the wall, you will get a wall splat. But it's the same route I showed you guys, so like this. Right, I miss the timing, takes a timing issue. Takes some practice, it's not that easy. Let's see. There we go, right? Look at the damage. That's 90. That's a lot of damage. So. A lot of people always expect you to go for the one throw, especially at the wall, right? So this gives you a lot of room to go for the two throw. And the two throw is a bar is bad in the sense that it takes them away from the wall, which is bad. So the two throw can be good if you're trying to side switch right at the wall. You can take them back at the wall with the two, right? I think you also get an explosion on the red stage, the underground arena, which is pretty pretty good. So yeah. The one, the one is better, and people most often go for one break, right? Which is understandably because still they get some ridiculous damage off of that. So they are all the same in terms of damage, right? If you get a hit dash after the one, after Sonic Fang, the one throw does more damage, which makes it better overall. But honestly, two of them do more damage. Like I told you guys earlier, a lot of throws in this game have been nerfed, right? Very few throws do 50 damage, so still having 50 damage throws in hit is very, very scary. So again, on my closing, try your best to avoid manual dash into grab to save hit gauge and remove unpredictability. And try your best to use it as Oki as well from the ground. Uh, if they stay lying on the ground, the duck, the duck too hits grounded as well. So it's pretty, pretty good. And at the wall, mix it up, right? I know the two takes them away from the wall, but at the end of the day, it's still, it's still damage, guys. So. It might be tempting to go for the one throw at the wall, but the two throw still does mad lad damage. So Steam's hit abilities are pretty straightforward, like I said. So this guide won't be as long as like the last or the one. Like it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But I just want to give you guys some ideas on how I try. I love to use his hit. Like I said, I feel as though his hit is very underrated. And most high level players don't really use hit as much as I think they should. Uh, Hera doesn't use the grabs that much. The only person I've seen use Steve's grabs or hit mechanic very well is Boopaman, right? Very, I think he's the number one Steve right now, so yeah. So basically, is that a running two, right? I love using it after running two. Obviously, they're your plus, right? So this gives you room to go for mix ups, right? The thing about running two is people usually expect you to throw out a down back three two, right? Something like this. This is very common with Steve players, so people tend to duck it out after this. The thing is, if you do a running two and go for extended duck, people think you're going to go for the down back um, three, three, two. So they'll do like a twitch duck, then get up again, right? So it throws off their timing if you go for manual grab, right? That's one aspect, right? So to mess up their timing again, you can go for manual grab or manual duck into hit, hit grab, right? It's pretty, pretty good. It's really, really good as well. Another scenario is I love Albatross cancel into the hit grab. So what I mean by this is back one. Let's say I go back one, go into flicker. So the flicker jabs, right, into Albatross, right? I love doing this. Albatross, then manual hit. This is pretty, pretty good as well because, you know, I expect you to, like, go for the low or go for the mid. So boom, cancel, grab, right? Yeah, that's something I love doing as well. Uh, uh, additionally, I talk about down. I spoke about down back three two, right into manual hit. Sorry, manual dark. Boom. This is good as well. And also after the one throw, I love going for two two a lot. 
to leave them standing, then go for another grab, right? Something like this. Uh, let's say, boom, 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 then go for another one, right? So this is, I'm trying to maximize the hit damage, right? Because 2-2 two, two is like what, plus 6, right? So it's a good frame trap because you can do like 2-2 two, two, into rocket launcher, right, as a frame trap. So if you see, if you see them respecting you too much, that's when it opens the possibility to go for the grab, right? Go for manual, in fact, if you can. Mm, uh, 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 uh. But keep in mind that they won't always respect you, right? Especially knowledgeable players. They won't always respect you. It's taken. You won't always get what you want, right? So let's keep that in mind. That's, that's, that's something that you should keep in mind because, like I said, at the end of the day, it's a high. So it can be ducked. You know, it can be launched. So always try to mix up. But okay, but like at the highest, I'm talking at the highest, highest. I haven't met a single player. I, I, dude, I'm like, I'm bushing, right? And I haven't met a single player that's ducked my hit grabs. No one is ducking, right? I don't know if it's character, lack of character knowledge, but like from my experience, no one is ducking. And even like top tier matches, the only person I've seen ducking Steve's hit grabs is JDCR. Booperman versus JDCR, he's the only one. So I think it's very underrated, man. Like there's no, it's, it's not like that serious to the point that you have to duck it. Because like at the end of the day, he has a launching me that does a lot of damage, right? So it's scary. So I'm only saying this for the topest of levels, the top, top levels. Try to mix it up if you can by adding the mids, right? If you try to duck. So yeah, those are like basics on how to use his hit mechanic. And like I said about Oki, right, just basic stuff. So basic Steve BNB. Oh my god. Uh, basic Steve BNB. Uh, 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 then duck here, right, to go for the grab, right? Shoo. Uh, 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 uh. Right, so just, I'm just trying to open up your mind, guys. Get creative. At the end of the day, there's so much you can do with this. Right, even uh, up back three, sometimes I love doing this. I'm uh, going to Lionheart, boom, then go in, go for the grab. Like, it's up to you, just get creative. But honestly, please try to throw it out as much as you can, right? The hit gauge is very, very valuable. So don't waste it. Use the abilities. A 50 damage throw is a lot of damage, so you don't really want to waste it. And Steve is already a very difficult character to play. You have to sweat to get a lot of damage out of this character, so you don't really want to waste that, you know, potential 50 damage throw. Okay, so now Steve's Okizeme game at the wall is very, very strong with his hit mechanic, right? So the idea behind his Oki at the wall is through the use of his Shuriken combo. So when you end the combo with Shuriken at the wall with Steve, it does that flip over. So this, right? That flip, right? So from that flip, you now have to use his extended duck. So the normal version where you hold forward three, right? So Extended Act 2, you hit them on the ground, right? So, like this. Extended Act 2, as you can see, it flips them over on the ground, right? So, if they stay on the ground, you use Extended Duck 2 to hit them on the ground. However, if they take row, you can visually see that, okay, they've take road, then go for the grab instead. So, something like this. Uh, 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 uh. They take row, boom, boom, take them back to the wall, right? That's the idea behind Steve's Oki game at the wall and how you implement his hit mechanic. It's very strong. It's very, very strong because if they start ducking now, you can go for the mid instead, which is the wall splat, right? You wall splat them, do the same shit over and over again, right? Uh, oh my god, I feel instant shuriken. Do it again. Just do it again, they duck again. You can go for the mid if you want the other mid which launches, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty strong at the wall. Very, very strong Okizeme, so please, please utilize it as much as you can. Okay, so now one last thing I wanted to talk about is how not to waste Steve's hit gauge. So sometimes it might not always be worth to go for the throw with Steve, right? Because at the end of the day, like I said, firstly, it's a high, it can be ducked, and secondly, they can actually break the throw if they guess right. Now, my reason for talking about this is the fact that Sonic Fang hit, right, is very, very strong. Sonic Fang into hit dash is very, very strong. 
quite all right. It's not like Steve's Rage Drive from Tekken 7, RIP Namco, why? But it's still very good, right? Because at the end of the day, it's 48 damage, right? And if you didn't know, it deals more damage than his hit smash, right? So yeah, that sucks. So sometimes it might be worth it to go for one throw attempt, right? Go for one throw attempt, right? Uh, let's say I have a full hit gauge. I go for a throw attempt, right? Instead of going for another throw, sometimes it's better to go for Sonic Fang into cancel, right? At least you have an opportunity to be plus five in your opponent's face. And you have another mixed up opportunity to go for the, the low or a mid, right? So, um, boom, 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 stun guard. So, let's say you go for a throw, right? Right? So, this sometimes is better than going for two throw attempts, right? Because at the end of the day, Sonic Fang is 14 frames, has insane tracking, and like I said, can be hit dash cancelled. So, you're plus five in your opponent's face with another mix up opportunity which is way stronger than a throw attempt, right? Because a throw attempt has more ways to get out of it, can, get, can be broken and can be guessed right if they duck. So not very complicated with Steve, right? Even rocket launcher into hit dash is very, very good because this launches, right? So sometimes only one throw attempt should be good enough with Steve in hit. I wish it was more because like I said, dude, the throw takes up so much hit gauge, bro. Look at that. That's half already, man. That sucks. That sucks. Like, look at that. Right. I wish you could go for it like three times, right? But it's only twice, which sucks. But like, anyway, as a stiff player, bro, we're at the bottom of the barrel at the moment, so we have to work with what we have. So there you have it, guys. Steve's hit mechanic explained and some ways to utilize it. Now, this guide was very, very easy compared to, you know, Lars and Leroy because Steve's hit mechanic is very, very straightforward. It's like self explanatory you have to get creative on how you implement the grab, right? It's very basic, not that complicated, so that's why the guide is shorter. And apologies if I'm speaking too fast or, you know, I sound very weird. I have had a very long day. I'm exhausted. So if you guys didn't hear much, please leave me in the comment section. And yeah, tell me, give me some feedback on what you want to see me do or something that I could do better. So if you love this, this Steve hit mechanic guide, then why not check out his punishment guide next? GG.